and the default intensity based model. So the first part of this uh, session will focus more on the spread risk. Now, we know what is a spread, especially from a credit dimension. When I talk about the spread, it is the difference in the yields. Difference in the yield. There are different ways of defining the spread, but the more common or a generic way is nothing but the difference between the yields from, uh, so here I take uh, a security for which I would uh, try to uh, look at, uh, the, evaluate the risk, right, which is uh, either a corporate bond or uh, whatever the security which is of my interest and I take the yield of it. There are different ways we talk about their yield. I take the yield of this particular bond and I'll take some reference like a benchmark. Benchmark security. I take the yield of that. And the difference between the two yields is what we call as the spread. And in this process, it is in the basis mechanism, it is assumed that the maturity of both these instruments whether it is the security of my interest as well as the security with which I am comparing. So both of them should have a same level of maturity. So whatever is the difference, it is a reflection of the additional risk that is uh, present in my security of interest compared to the benchmark. So it's a, it's a straightforward mechanism or indication of the excess risk that is present